Hello everyone, back tuning into today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. For today's uh, video, this is going to take us to the 28th of February. So we're pretty much at the end of February now. Uh, with the week to 10 day video updates are very shortly uh, they'll start taking us into the beginning of March so the final 10 days of February are going to be dominated by high pressure we're going to have unusually uh, mild temperatures warm temperatures uh, actually we may even break records can you believe over the weekend and into the start of next week you might get the temperature to 20 degrees if we do that we will beat uh, 19.7 set in February 1998 so we could well find a new February maximum temperature record occurring in the next 10 days more on that very shortly uh, so we're going to start off with 500 bit of our high zombie flow charts from Penn State University. And uh, this is how things are looking for the next week to 10 days. We've got the ECMWF here on the top. The GFS, which we'll have a look in a moment, is on the bottom. 500 millibars, 8,000 feet is an area in the atmosphere. High pressure, low pressure uh, being moved around by the jet stream running above. Red extrapolates high pressure, blue to low pressure. So in the week to, in the, uh, week to 10 day time frame, the ECMDF is placing this large ridge of above average heights over the UK and across much of Western uh, Europe as well. We've got below average heights, low pressure in the middle of the Atlantic. The jet stream is doing something rather like that. So on the mild side of the jet stream, on the warm side of the jet stream, it's pushing northwards and we're under a ridge of high pressure. It's a perfect recipe to be drawing the air up from quite a long way south, either from the central Atlantic or possibly even from Spain, Portugal and North Africa. And the upshot is that in the 7 to 10 day time frame, we could see some record-breaking warm temperatures. This is how the GFS is looking. Uh, so again, very, very similar idea. Above average height centred over uh, the UK and most of Western and Central uh, Europe as well. Below average heights are in the middle of the Atlantic. The flow is coming out of the uh, North Atlantic like that, pushing northwards and then diving southwards. And it looks like, uh, again, we've got both models in agreement. The high pressure in the 7 to 10 day time frame taking us through towards the end of February, to the end of February. Uh, bringing in lots of dry weather, but also potentially unusually warm conditions as well. These are the GFS temperature and precipitation uh, ensembles. So uh, look at Bournemouth down on the south coast today. Another uh, suggested uh, place uh, for our list of uh, suggested locations for this section of the video. The red line here is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Bournemouth. We're starting off a little bit cooler today, just a little bit uh, close to average, but in the next uh, 48 hours or so, temperatures will be lifting up by the end of the week and into next weekend, looking uh, really warm, actually. Temperatures going up to 10 degrees at 850 HPA. Look how far above the red line uh, the 30 year temperature average these ensembles are going. So 10 Celsius at, uh, at uh, 30. Uh, 10 Celsius um, at uh, this level in the atmosphere uh, is uh, is going to be pretty warm, to say the least, at 850 HPA. It's going to see temperatures going uh, up to near record-breaking uh, levels anyway, certainly into the mid-teen Celsius, possibly higher than that. Uh, and in the summer, of course, you expect to get to temperatures up to uh, 10 Celsius at 850 HPA. But in February, you really don't expect to see that. Uh, although anything is possible with weather, as we know. As we go into the end of February and the start of March, we find, uh, we find that the ensembles start to drop. So they begin to cool off and lower. But still generally looking milder than average, even into the early part of March, really. There are a few um, colder ensemble members that we have there but uh, generally even right through to the end of March it looks like temperatures overall are above average just not at the very high level that we see there for uh, for the end of February and precipitation wise just loads of dry weather so there's a little bit of rainfall uh, on the south coast today but once that's out of the way it's basically dry uh, through to the end of February really that's 28th February just there looking completely dry. The opening days of March, a little bit of precipitation, uh, yes, in Bournemouth, but uh, even then, that's a pretty dry ensemble, even going into the first week of March. So prolonged dry and warm weather coming up. Temperature anomalies from the 18th to the 26th of February, above average for the UK and Ireland, all parts of Europe coming out milder than average as well. 
precipitation anomalies from the 18th to 26th of February drier than average, particularly so for England and Wales. So it's a warm and dry uh, end to February that we are seeing here. This is how the GFS operational run is looking for Thursday, bringing up these very mild southwesterly winds as high pressure is building across France. And the train through to the end of the week of the weekend is of its high pressure to take over across Central Europe. The uh, air is coming up from southern parts of Europe, maybe even from North Africa. So very mild uh, or warm air is wafting up across uh, Europe into the UK over the weekend. There's the upper air temperatures, and we are seeing the 10 Celsius isotherm there down in parts of southern and southeastern Britain. Now, sometimes, even in the height of summer, when the weather is poor, we don't get the 10 Celsius isotherm. So to be seeing that uh, 10 Celsius isotherm into southeastern England on the 24th of February is uh, really quite extraordinary indeed. The far east and southeast of Europe, you'll notice, is looking a lot cold with the upper air temperatures. The uh, minus 10 Celsius ice firm is digging down through the Black Sea into uh, parts of Greece. So it's going to be a lot colder in the far east and southeast of uh, Europe. But uh, most parts of Europe, uh, of Europe are dominated by this warm ridge of high pressure bringing the air up from southern uh, from southern Europe, from the Mediterranean and North Africa. There's a thickness line showing that the 546 line, this green line, is uh, pushing into the north of Scotland. So, again, that's quite unusual uh, for February to see the uh, 546 thickness line that far uh, north. Totally different to the same period last year, of course, when we were having the bees from the east. This is uh, how things are looking in a week's time. So this is Monday, 25th of February. Again, high pressure is well and truly in control, bringing lots of dry and warm weather through to the start of next week. Through next week, we gradually see an erosion of that high pressure. just start to turn a little bit cooler, a little bit more unsettled from off the Atlantic as we go to day 10, which is Thursday, the 28th of February. But even then, quite an influence still from high pressure down to our south and southwest. In the more extended range, we keep ridges going across southern parts of the country, a little bit more unsettled in the north. We do pick up a westerly, so we're picking up an Atlantic flow, which normally, for the early part of March, would actually be mild. It would normally be a, a, a mild wind direction. But uh, that will probably actually be a little bit cooler compared to what we have through the final week of February if you see what I mean, because we're going to have this very warm southerly through uh, the final week of February. So um, it's almost like a situation in the summer, really. In, in the summer, westerlies will be cooler, uh, a cooler wind direction than south or east, typically. Um, and uh, But in winter, you would normally expect westerlies to be a milder wind direction. But because it's going to be so very warm before that with those southerly winds, uh, when we pick up this westerly, it probably will feel a little bit chilly, particularly so uh, for Scotland, with temperatures returning back closer to average. Uh, we get to the very end of the GFS run and we're still keeping high pressure going across the south but the north and west uh, looking a little bit more unsettled up there. This is how the parallel GFS is looking. It's going to become the operational uh, run of the GFS I think it's on the 20th of March uh, again bringing up this very mild southwesterly wind on Thursday I and mean, high pressure increasingly taking over through the end of week and into the weekend as well. Very dry over weekend and warm too with high pressure persisting through to uh, the start of next week, keeping it mainly dry and uh, keeping it pretty warm uh, as well. We go up to day 10. That's how we're looking, still with high pressure in control. But it's trying to edge a little bit further northwards with the parallel. So we're starting to pull down some slightly colder air into Scandinavia. Uh, nothing really comes of that, though. As we're going to the start of March, a high pressure just sticking around the UK, particularly keeping southern parts of the country mainly dry, a little bit more unsettled again up in the north. Lots and lots of high pressure right way through to the first week of March. This is how the temperatures are looking with the GFS run. Uh, so we are looking at yesterday's temperatures there. So what we're going to do is just very quickly move that over to uh, 6. And uh, actually, we're going to have to give up on that. So we'll get rid of those. I'll talk you through the temperature tomorrow. Uh, this is how the ECM is looking. Again, we've got these uh, southwest winds wafting up across the country to, uh, at the end of the week. And as we go into the weekend, high pressure again is well and truly in control of the weather, taking us through to the weekend. Lots of dry and warm weather coming through there. And in the start of next week, remain dry and very warm temperatures, at least into the mid teens, possibly into the upper teens. So there's 20 cells 
Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit would be a new February maximum temperature record. It is not out of the question that that could happen either over the weekend or the early days of next week. Uh, up to day 10, again, high pressure is in control, just gradually being eroded. By the time we get through to day 10, we're just picking up a little bit more of a southwesterly, slightly more unsettled, particularly for the north and west, but really most parts of the country holding on to high pressure. Uh, this is how the uh, scenarios are playing out within the ECM ensembles from the Icelandic Met Office uh, at day 10, which is the final day of February, 28th of February. So we've got 20 uh, members of the ECM ensembles that have a big ridge of above average heights over to the southeast of the country, below average heights through the Atlantic. And we're bringing up these very mild southwesterly wind, uh, winds with those. Um, then we've got another 18 that have high pressure centred over the top of the country. So again, just lots of dry weather. Jet streams going off at there somewhere. So we're on the warm side of the jet with a ridge of high pressure. They're going to be pretty dry and uh, quite warm as well. And then there's another 13 that have the high pressure, more or less centre, slightly to our east. Only a subtle difference, so these ones also are bringing up that very mild southerly wind uh, around day 10. So whichever scenario we take is looking pretty dry and pretty warm at day 10 for the end of February. More unsettled though in the extended range. This takes us into 360 hours with the ECM ensembles to the 5th of March. And it uh, just looks a bit more unsettled then. Below average heights are in the Atlantic with these 23. And um, we're bringing in an Atlantic flow. So they're bringing the Atlantic back. And um, particularly for northwest parts of the country, quite unsettled. Then there's number 20, but look very unsettled. Deep area of below average heights out to our west. That's the Atlantic unleash. That'll be a bit of an Atlantic onslaught with those 20. Lots of heavy rain. And probably quite coolish as well, I would have thought, actually, because the jet stream looks like it's been to dig south a bit. There is a minority option. Eight members of the ECM ensembles in two weeks' time have this ridge of high pressure uh, up to our north. So those are bringing in... Uh, a rather cooler or colder easterly wind. Very much a minority option, though. It looks like the trend within the ECM ensembles is to turn things more unsettled through the first week of uh, March. Finally, CFSV2 for next month. These are 500 millibar heights broken down in two weekly periods. The first weekly period takes us from the 18th to 24th of February. Coming week has below average heights in the middle of the Atlantic, above average heights uh, over and to the east of the country. We're on the warm side of the jet stream with closer ridge of high pressure. There'll be lots of dry and warm weather in the week ahead. And that continues into week two as well. No quick uh, erosion of the high pressure with CFSV2. This is taking us from the 25th of February to the 3rd of March, still with that area of above average heights centred virtually over the top of the UK. Below average heights are in the middle of the Atlantic. The flow and the jet is like that. So again, it remains dry and warm in the closing days of February uh, with CFSV2. A little bit of a change in week three. The 4th to the 10th of March shows the high pressure or above average heights to our east. Slowly weakening though. Below average heights are developing out to west. This looks a bit transitional. It looks like it's uh, starting to turn a little bit more unsettled uh, from off the Atlantic. And then we finish up. In week four, which is the 11th to the 17th of March, under a trough of low pressure. So that obviously looks a lot more unsettled. Quite cool as well. Jet streams digging south was a little bit as well. So we go through to the middle of March and uh, looking a lot more unsettled again with the CFS. It looks like the extended output wants to start turning things a bit more unsettled through uh, the first half of March. Of course, it's all a long way off. They're probably being too progressive in breaking down the ridge and the high pressure, which, of course, is a very persistent ridge of high pressure, has been on and off, sort of ongoing for several months. So we'll wait and see about that. The uh, next week, 10 days, though, for the rest of February, we're going to be dominated by high pressure. It's going to be turning increasingly dry and warm. We may see record-breaking warmth over the weekend and into next week. More on that as the week progresses. Watch your space. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.